Hello friends, now we will see what is the meaning of D arrangements. Firstly, we have to get the meaning of the word arrangement. Arrangement means everything is put orderly. And D arrangement is just opposite to that. That means things are not arranged orderly. So, we will be finding the solution for such type of problems where the things have not been put orderly. Just one example I am taking. I am just writing three letters to three persons. A. Anirudh B. Bikas C. Charlie And three envelopes I am making. Envelope 1 two and three. This is for Anirudh, Vikas and Charlie. If I am putting right letter in the right envelope, that is arrangement. But if we are putting right letter in the wrong envelope, that is D arrangement. So in how many ways can we put the letters wrongly that we will be discussing. So, general formula of D arrangement I am writing here. D arrangement of R things is factorial R 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus like the story goes on until minus 1 to the power r, 1 by r factorial. What is the pattern you see here? The things we have to dearrange, 1 minus, alternatively we have to put the sign, minus, plus, minus, plus. And where we do have to stop? If we are dearrange 3 things, suppose I want this case to be done to dearrange these three things, three letters going to wrong envelope. So, D3 will be 3 factorial here and it is 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial. We will stop here. This is the basic thing we have to do for finding the D arrangement. Now, I am just discussing one special case. Just two letters put in wrong envelope. Okay. So, that means we need to find the D arrangement of two things. So, firstly, we need to select which of the two letters are to be D arranged. This can be done in 3, C, 2. 3 letters are there. Out of which 2 letters are to be dearranged. So, 3, C, 2. Then the dearrangement of 2 letters will be, you just tell me, this is 2 factorial, 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial. We have to stop here. 2 things done. So, we can easily find the number of D arrangements by following this simple process. One more example I am taking here. Suppose 5 boxes are there. 5 boxes of 5 different colors. Red, green, blue, yellow, orange. And 5 balls of 5 different colors are there. So, I need to find in how many ways we are putting the balls in the boxes so that at least three of them are not placed in the corresponding box. So, we need to find at least three D arrangements. That means what we need to find D3, D arrangement of 3, D4, D arrangement of 4 plus D5, D arrangement of 5. At least 3 means 3 and more. So, can be 3, can be 4, can be 5. Same way. Now, the question arises, we did earlier, that three, which 3 balls are to be placed in the wrong 
boxes we need to select the three balls so five balls there we need to select the three balls in five c3 ways now d arrangement of the three balls will be you tell me three factorial one minus one by one factorial plus one by two factorial minus one by three factorial this is the arrangement of three balls firstly we selected the three balls and now we dearrange because we don't know which three balls are going to be in the wrong boxes so firstly we need to select it may be red blue green it may be red blue orange it may be red blue yellow like anything can be so possibilities we are finding the number of ways the balls to be selected and then to be dearranged in the case of d4 what that will be firstly we need to select the four balls 5c4 and it is 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial we need to stop here into 4 factorial here so this is the d arrangement of the four things now d arrangement of the five things will be 5 c 5 what is this can you tell me this is just one 5 factorial here it will be 1 minus 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial minus 1 by 5 factorial so we have to stop here you got the pattern how to just write first plus then minus then plus then minus like this you follow the pattern until the dearrangement of the required things done hope you are understanding dearrangement very very well please do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you continue to get good videos on different topics this is your loving santosh pembi okay bye bye